Hello there! Do you want to know what Prisma ORM is and how you can use it in your projects? In this video, we will look at exactly that. We will first give a general overview and then dive right into a basic example. So let's go. Prisma is an open source ORM where ORM stands for Object Relational Mapping. This is a technique to create objects from your application inside a database using a library. Prisma itself consists of three parts. The first one is the Prisma client. That is an auto-generated and type-safe query builder for you to easily request data from the database. The second one is Prisma Migrate. This is the migration system built into Prisma. And the last one is Prisma Studio. This is a um, user interface to have a look at your data inside the database. This is not looked at closer in this video because it's not open source. It all starts with the Prisma schema file in which you can define the data model of the application using Prisma's own data modeling language. Besides the data model, this file also contains the connection to the database. The following shows an example of this and it contains the connection to the database, the generator to automatically build the Prisma client, and lastly, the data model. This was a basic overview of the components of Prisma. In the next part, we will have a closer look at the data model and also use an actual database. Before we can create our data model, we have to set up a basic project. For that, follow the following steps. First, create a directory using mkdir and then open it in your favorite code editor. Initialize a new project using pnpm init. Install TypeScript. Then install Prisma. Initialize Prisma. Then create a docker compose.yaml file to create a new PostgreSQL instance, the database that we will use for the following example. And finally, adjust the connection string inside .env. With this, we have an empty project set up and we already have a schema.prisma file inside the Prisma directory. The data model inside the schema file and the database can be synchronized in two different ways. The first one would be to define the schema manually inside the schema.prisma file and then migrate it to the database. And the second way would be the other way around. So using an existing data model inside a database and syncing it to the prisma.schema file. We will do both approaches and we start with the first one. For this, we will set up our own data model consisting of a post and a user model inside the prisma.schema file. We then write these models to the database using the prisma migrate command. With this, we have a migration file inside the Prisma directory and the specified tables exist in the database. To try out the second approach, we will delete the migrations directory, the models inside the prisma.schema file and the data in the migrations table inside of Postgres. After we are done with that, we can now get the schema back into our file using Prisma DB pull. As we can see, both models are back in the file. And next up, we will learn how to create a migration history from this starting point. We will create an initial migration step by first creating an empty directory inside the migrations directory. Then determine the difference between the schema file and the database and then apply 
the created migration. We can now change one of our models. For example, we add a category to post and then create a new migration using the migrate command again. With that, we saw how to manage migrations. In the next step, we will query our database. To query the database in code, we will create a new file called source index.ts. Inside the code, we first import Prisma and util for formatting. Then we create our typed Prisma client and then a main function. In the function, we first add a new user with a post to the database and then query all users with their posts and all posts of a certain user. And at the end, we call the main function. But before we can run it, we add a new script to the package.json and then run it using pnpm dev. With this example, we can see how to insert data to the database, how to use joins, and how to filter queries. With this basic introduction, you got a general overview of Prisma ORM and how to use it in your projects. I hope this video helped you. If so, give it a like and subscribe to my channel. Thank you for watching and see you in the next one.